As the temperature warms up, you will likely be spending more time outdoors, and so will many animals and reptiles. Conservationists are reminding the public it's illegal to keep a wild box turtle as a pet. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell explains. Take a look at this handsome fella. He's small but adorable, and they're found in all kinds of neighborhoods and people. They will keep wild box turtles as pets, but activists say that's a bad idea. And we can tell who is who. We all have nicknames for them all. Joanna Prosser is passionate about taking care of animals. I wish I could find Mr. Handsome. And as the animal care director of Walden's Puddle Wildlife Center, she sees people taking wild box turtles. And then they come out in the spring and summer. And turning them into pets. You can't take any turtle that's less than four inches. And so these are TWA regulations. All the turtles in this encampment are ones owners didn't want anymore. This guy is named Kenny. He keeps the staff entertained. Buddy! And is the only one kept inside a tank. He isn't able to box up completely um, since he was raised as a pet and didn't get the proper nutrition. His shell didn't form properly. It's why she's reminding the public to not make them a pet, even though children may beg their parent to keep the one from their backyard. And they need very specific food, lighting, heating. They have specific requirements, and you don't want to take in an animal that you're not confident you can care for properly. They can also make us sick. So turtles do carry salmonella, and that is uh, contagious to humans. And it's not a great idea to re-release them into a new environment because of their homing instinct. They will spend more time just trying to find their way back home. In that process, they're more likely to be hit by cars or come across railroad tracks, things that uh, will ultimately kill them. Their populations are declining across the United States uh, for reasons such as habitat destruction, uh, fragmentation, uh, being moved around and spreading diseases to populations that would otherwise be healthy. Prosser knows these turtles play an important role in the environment and thinks we need to help them thrive so they'll be around for more generations to come. You know, appreciate wildlife, show your kids, help them appreciate it. Erin Kentrell, News Channel 5. Erin, thank you. And activists say if you're going to have one as a pet, get one already born or raised in captivity. They also suggest checking your grass before mowing your lawn to avoid injuring a turtle. And if you see one crossing the road and it's safe, you can help the turtle cross in the direction it's heading.